guys, it's time to finish up our chrome demo in oil. Um, we're going to be using the following brushes. A small uh, soft filbert. A medium soft round. A small soft round. And a small liner round. Okay. The palette has not changed. We are still working with um, ultramarine blue. Prussian blue, phthalo green, alizarin crimson, cad red medium, cad red light, cad orange, cad yellow, and titanium white, as well as what's left of the mixtures that we made uh, for um, the board and the bowl and the peppers and tomato, all that good stuff. So, um, as always, we want to start with our darks first. And I'm going to start with my small filbert. And we're going to begin by reinstating our darks and just cleaning up some detail in the dark values. Blue, raw umber, and ultramarine blue on my brush. And I'm going to start by pushing my darks a little darker and cleaning up shapes. Okay, so I've reinstated the darks in the background, and uh, now I want to go ahead and start pushing my mid-tones a little bit and cleaning up edges and just looking a little closer for more detail. So I've wiped the excess paint off of that small filbert. I'm going to keep using it for the time being as I start getting my mid-tones in place. First, I'm going to go ahead and uh, push these values a little bit um, darker here. Uh, push these highlights a little bit brighter. Uh, probably push these a little bit more neutral. It's a little bit too blue right through there. And I'll work my way across um, just co color correcting and uh, fine tuning my brush strokes. Okay, so now I want to come up to the rim of the bowl and get that filled in. So again, I'm going to start with my darks and start getting the darker marks filled in at the top. I'm going to switch to a small round for this. Okay, now I'm switching to a tan color. I'm going to go ahead and start to get the highlights along the rim of the bowl and start blocking in this little um, ring on the side of the bowl as well. And I'll go ahead and try to punch up some of the uh, duller highlights throughout the reflection of the chrome. Okay, so before I move any further, I'm going to come back to um, my small filbert and a little bit of Prussian blue and start touching up the background a little bit on the top edge of the bowl and kind of clean up that top edge as best I can. So grabbing a little bit of the Prussian blue, a little liquid, and uh, we'll just come up here and start cleaning up this edge. So 
So now I want to come back and start to do a little bit of blending on that top edge, but first I'm going to pause and grab my mall stick so I have somewhere to rest my hand because I'm starting to get smudges where my hand is um, hitting wet paint and then resting on the canvas. So I cleaned out my filbert a little bit, wiped the excess paint from it and swirled it in a little solvent. And uh, now that I've got most of the paint out and it's mostly dry, I'm going to take a moment to start to blend the strokes that I just put on the rim of the bowl. I've got my handy little mall stick so I can rest my hand a little bit more easily. And we're going to start with the darks and begin to very softly pull them up into the light area. Stop and wipe the excess from the brush. This brush needs to stay mostly dry while I'm using it. Now as I begin to pull across, I do want to keep that dark line through the center, but I do want some softer edges, so I don't want to obliterate it. So that said, I'm going to gently pull across the light and the dark. And again, wiping the edge of my brush as I go. And just pull all the way across. So now that I've done that, I want to come back with my small round, but I'm going to wipe that tan color out, swirl it in a little solvent, and then wipe it out some more. And I want to grab some plain white with a little bit of liquid, and I want to start to pop those highlights on the rim of the bowl. And each time I load the brush, I'm making sure I get a nice chiseled edge on it so that I can get these finer strokes. And now I'm coming up a along the line of this really bright highlight through here, so I want to make sure that I push that highlight extra bright. So I'm going to get some more white on the brush and I want to make that bright highlight there and there. So when you're doing reflections, one of the things that's going to really help to sell them is making sure that your highlights are consistent with the other highlights that you've got on the form. So since I've got this bright highlight here, these bright highlights need to correspond with it. And while I've got this on the brush, I'll just go ahead and pull a brighter stroke down the center of this highlight too. Okay, now as I move towards the right side of the bowl, you'll notice that we have some highlights that kind of taper off and then brighten up as the light is hitting them again on the uh, main reflection here. So that said, I'm going to use a very fine pressure as I begin to pull out from these. And then as I get a little closer to where I have that brighter highlight down the side of the bowl. I'm going to let my strokes get a little fatter and a little brighter.
Okay. I'm going to come back, wipe the extra paint off of the brush, and I want to clean up a couple edges, particularly right through here where it get, got a little bit squirrely on me. Just doing a little bit of blending with the brush. Okay, so it looks like I need to come back and tidy up that top edge one more time. I'm going to grab a little more Prussian blue on the brush and hit this top edge one more time. back to my round. I'm going to adjust this little edge up here with just a tiny bit of a highlight. Okay, so now to finish cleaning up the rest of the reflections of the bowl. Um, while I've got white on my small round, I'm going to come back onto the inside of the bowl and begin punching up some of these highlights just a little bit. Okay, so now I think I just need to clean up a little bit on the board and with the vegetable reflections. And, oh, well, I've still got the white, I need to go ahead and hit my handle, my little ring over here on the side. I'm going to wipe the extra paint off of the brush, and I'm going to use the blue paint that's wet right there to softly blend up into the white a little. And we'll blend down a little into the white that's showing right there. Okay, so back to my little filbert. <clears throat> um, I think I need to push these blues a little bit further than I did earlier, so I'm going to come back with a little more of my Prussian blue. And just re-wet those areas. And then I'm going to push the highlights in, on the inside of those areas. Come in with just a small amount of white and mix it directly in with that wet paint. Now we're going to start to work our way across again and just clean up and blend edges a little bit more.
So right now I've got a little bit of ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson in some of that tan color on the brush. And I'm trying to get some of these purpley shadows that are reflected into the uh, bowl painted in. Making my way towards my lighter colors. Starting to come back into the cutting board. Okay, so now I want to come back into the cutting board with some of the really light colors. Coming back into my tan and adding just a little bit more white. I want to push these brights a bit brighter. Again, particularly underneath where we have those stronger reflections in the bowl. Okay, so now I want to start to push the shadows that are cast by the vegetables onto the cutting board. I'm going to start with a little bit of raw umber, a little alizarin crimson, and a little bit of ultramarine blue for those. I'm going to start with, you know, we'll start with this bell pepper over here. A little too much red. Let's grab a little bit more of the ultramarine blue. Now we'll move on to the tomato shadow. And the pepper's darkest part of the cast shadow. And you know what, while I have this color on the brush, it's very similar to the color of the stripes on the cutting board. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and um, go over those little stripes one more time. And I want to make sure that I can still get that stripes curve. It's going to show us the distortion of the reflection in the bowl. And again, helps to push the form of that rounded bowl. Next step is going to be to soften the edges of those uh, shadows. So I'm going to take what's left on the brush and grab a little bit of the cutting board main color here. And we're going to start to push the shapes of those shadows a little bit further.
So now I want to stop and wipe the excess paint from the brush and come back and just soften those transitions a little. There's no paint on the brush. I'm just diffusing edges at this point. Okay, so we're almost done. There's a few things that we need to touch up. I want to push the intensity of each of my vegetables just a little bit. That orange could be a little more intense. Uh, so we're going to start there. We're going to grab a little bit of the cad red light for the darker areas. And come back and start to punch those up a little bit. Okay, and while I have this orange, I'm going to come over to the yellow bell pepper reflection and I'm going to punch up the orange that's in that shadow on the back side of it. So now I want to punch up the reds in the tomato, so I'm going to grab a little alizarin crimson first. Then a little cad red medium. Start to blend those edges out a little. See, let's come back into the yellow bell pepper with a little bit of my cat orange along those outer areas. Start to blend in with some of that cat red light I put down a minute ago. Now I want some just straight up cad yellow, a little bit of liquid on the brush, and we'll come back and we'll adjust these edges ever so slightly. Still using that small filbert. Start to blend the edges out just a little. So a couple more little nitpicky details at this point. Uh, now I want to grab my small liner round. And I think at this point, <clears throat> excuse me, I just want to come back and uh, get a few of the finer lines that are happening in the reflections. And as usual, I want to go dark to light. So again, grabbing some more of my Prussian blue, a little bit more of my uh, raw umber. Pardon my stuffy nose, guys. The pollen is intense today.
Okay, so guys, I think that about wraps it up for our reflection demo. Uh, I could probably tinker with this a little bit more, but uh, that's about how you're going to get something like that done. Uh, key points to remember, you want to make sure that your reflections emphasize the form of whatever reflective objects that uh, you're painting. Um, you want to push your brights as bright as they need to go and your darks as dark as they need to go. Um, pushing contrast is usually important in any painting, but in reflective surfaces it's, ex it's especially important to do that. So keep that in mind as you're painting and uh, hope you've enjoyed this little demo. Thanks. Bye.